The chief executive of NVIDIA has told me he's focused on opening new markets. Now, NVIDIA makes chips that basically play a massive role in the AI revolution. And you can see the way its share price has gone from back in February of last year, 2015, up to 725. And even since February this year, uh, so, sorry, uh, they, they're just in Feb. I beg your pardon, uh, the numbers are so outstanding. They are up 15% this February alone. The cap stands at $1.8 trillion for the company. It's one of the most valuable on the planet. Artificial intelligence has not only made NVIDIA rich, it set up a global debate over regulation. And the chief executive, Jensen Huang, tells me different cultures will need to design their own guardrails. In every single country, every single region, there's an awakening, the government awakening, social awakening, that the data of their culture, the data of their society, the data of their people should be refined and processed and turned into the digital intelligence of their own people. And so this is, this is um, uh, there's a sovereign AI movement that's happening everywhere. Every country should protect their own data. They should turn it into digital intelligence and AI themselves. And the ability to do that is uh, fairly available today. And so we should go enable and, dig and democratize the capability to do that. Isn't that a inherently contradictory to the idea of global standards. If you have everybody trying to do their own, mm. controlling their own within the borders of their own country, mm. it's not the most efficient way of doing it, even if it might be perhaps arguably the most democratic. We should have um, underlying technologies achieve standards as much as possible. However, Intelligence cannot be standardized. Cultures cannot be standardized. Common sense of different people cannot be standardized. This region feels differently and has a very different history than different regions around the world. And so we need to enable every region to create their own digital intelligence. But, but what does that give doing that? Mm. If you think mm. about the entire way in which this whole digital transformation has taken place, mm. it has all been based on a standardization. Mm. It looks the same everywhere. And now you're saying, well, no, actually, really, democratization requires us to specialize it back again. That's right. Transistors should be standardized. Internet can be standardized. Computing technology can be standardized. But intelligence should not be. And the reason is that very simple. Uh, you want domain-specific intelligence for healthcare. You want somebody to be a super intelligence for healthcare. That super intelligence for healthcare doesn't have to be a super intelligence for anything else but healthcare. You want a super intelligence for energy discovery. You want super intelligence for logistics and transportation. And these intelligences um, really ought to be created by the industries themselves, by the countries that specialize in these industries. Right. And what we need to do is enable them to do it, not do it for them. We are in the midst of a US political season that promises to be extremely um, volatile, my word. Do you worry that post the next election, however it plans out, that the relationship with China worsens or at least the ability for you to do your business becomes more difficult vis-a-vis -vis China? Well, first of all, we're an American company and so our first job is to comply with the laws, comply with the policies. And with that, within that, don't overthink too much about that. Really? Focus on everything else. Focus on creating new technologies, enabling new industries and solve new problems, open up new markets. You know, meanwhile, um, uh, just whatever geopolitical challenges there are between the United States and China, it's opening up enormous opportunities everywhere else. As other countries realize that they have to invest in their own sovereign AI. Which the Europeans are really tremendously, I mean, if you look at the yeah. Digital Privacy Act in the UK, you look at what the EU has done uh, at, a, at, a, at an EU level, it's quite extraordinary. That's right. Every single country. This is happening all over, every region all over the world. I've never seen anything like it. And the reason for that is because every country and every region, every culture needs to digitalize their own intelligence. You can't outsource that to somebody and you don't want that to be an industry standard.